everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection and you enjoy the content that you're watching, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen, and you can continue to watch me here on YouTube as well. Also, I need a favor. I speak of YouTube. Trying to reach a goal of 1.5k sub by the end of this year. So, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with that, ask that y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, I greatly appreciate it. I just ask that you continue to watch the videos and let's spread the word and let everybody see what this channel has to offer. I also, ask that you hit that like button on this video and leave a comment on today's video. Let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker. And also, I'm also here to help, so if you need a little assistance when it comes to getting sneakers, because it is not an easy task getting sneakers. Uh, I know you see a lot of sneakers in the background, but I did not get them easily. I had to put in that leg work. It was built off of relationships, etc., etc., etc. But there are some uh, there are some things in place that can assist you if you need the assistance or even if you want it. Now speaking of the Discord group that you're looking at on the screen, it's the Family Vibes Discord group. They offer all types of assistance when it comes to getting sneakers. It just makes it a little bit easier. It's not guaranteed, but it makes it easier for you to get the sneakers that you desire for retail or close to retail. So if you're interested in that, message the inbox that you see right here. This is their IG page. Or if you have any questions and you want to ask me, I'll do my best to give you the answer. Or I definitely will point you in the right direction. Now today we're taking a look at a sneaker. It's retro. It initially came out back in 1997. 1997, I was actually living in Virginia at the time, so this speaks to my heart right here because this sneaker is one of my favorite players of all time. This uh, guy won the Rookie of the Year in his league and also won the league MVP. In that MVP season, also took his team to the championship round, but they were unsuccessful because they met a duel. This guy, he's a uh, part of a brand that not a lot of people rock with, but uh, I like the sneaker and we're gonna take a look at it today. You see the box, Reebok. I had the sneaker back when it released back in 1997, but you know, back in 97, I was wearing like a size 11 back then. My feet didn't grow to size 14 until 1998 when I deployed for the very first time and I showed you the box label and I'm gonna read it to you it says question mid size 14 and your color is white glacier blue and clear uh, I'm gonna take the slide out the box there you go. Y'all know what they say about the Yeezy box. If it doesn't fart, it's not real. But this is the paper. You see Reebok all over the paper, all over the tissue. And we're going to look inside. We got one little sticker in here. See that sticker right there? And that is the box. Let's look at this. Okay, sneakers. guys, we have the Reebok mid, the question. This is Iverson's original sneaker. It debuted back in 1997. Like I said earlier, he won the Rookie of the Year that year. And he also won the league MVP in 2000 that year. He led Philly to the NBA Finals. And of course, game one, he shocked the world and the Lakers as well as Philly went into LA and captured game one. And of course, the most looked at highlight from that game it's the step over when he stepped over current LA Clippers head coach Ty Lue. He stepped over him after scoring the basket. And I later learned in life that those two are friends and Iverson actually hates when that moment is brought up. 
hopefully Iverson doesn't see this video and get upset at me, but this is for content purposes only. Now we're gonna look at the sneaker. We got an all leather upper going up here and you can see it's a nice grand of leather and it is uh, in the white colorway and you can see on every eyelet it spells a letter. It all spells the word Reebok and that's in the, uh, the blue and you got white lettering. You have the Reebok sign right here trimmed in red and it's in that blue as well. White midsole, you can see your two bubbles here. This is part of the Hexalite technology. Yes, the bubbles are clear, but on the insides is blue. And you can see a very thin translucent part of blue right on the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You can see you have a translucent blue outsole. You have the Reebok uh, logo right here on the forefoot. And more, you have that little indention in here. That's the Reebok Hexalite technology. And I will add that these were the sneakers Iverson was wearing. He was wearing this model sneaker when he gave Michael Jordan that famous crossover during his rookie season in uh, 1997. This is the back of the sneaker. Looking at your heel badge, you have the Question logo. That's the Question logo combined with the Reebok logo. So it's called the Question logo. It's embroidered. Yes, it's embroidered in white lettering and it's on top of uh, that blue leather. You have more tumbled leather, that white leather. And at the very bottom, you can see his number. Number three from the Philadelphia 76ers. And look at the medial side of the sneaker and you can see that tag. This tag comes affixed on the left sneaker. You can see it has all that great information. US size 14. Yes, this is a personal pair. And you have your style code and uh, question the name of the sneaker and all that good stuff. And just like the uh, lateral side of the sneaker, the medial side of the sneaker also has tumbled white leather on your upper. And you have that Reebok logo in the blue trim in red. And on the eyelets, instead of spelling out Reebok, you have the Reebok logo on each one. That's the only difference between uh, the ladder and the medial side. And on your midsole, you do have that hexalite technology right there. You got your two bubbles. You can see it's translucent and it's kind of blue-ish on the inside. And give you a nice look at that toe box. Yes, he tend to wear these when he wore the red Iverson jersey. I do have that jersey also have the uh yeah i also have a video on the red tools like this so if you want to watch that i recommend that you watch it after you finish watching this video i do have a review on the red toe pair looking at the tongue you have a, a mesh tongue all the way up to this point and you have white tumble leather up here and the top of the tongue you can see there is a reebok logo right there in blue trimmed in red we have oval laces well, rope laces, we have some thick rope laces. They're white in colorway, comes with this. I thought these would have had additional laces, but uh, I bought these from Hibbit Sports. So shout out to Hibbit Sports for uh, allowing me to get this pair. I bought these on the release date of the uh, Air Jordan Fire Red 3s. I bought them together, but I have an issue with my Fire Red 3s, which I'm not going to discuss right now. We're going to look at the back. You can see that tag right there. This is what your item should look like. It has the sizing on here, has the style code, and uh, no production date. Well, actually, uh, no, nah, that's not a production date, but you do have a QR code. Not sure what happened if you were scanning it, but this is Reebok. And you also have a white sock liner, white cotton sock liner, more like that t shirt material. And you can see on the inside, this is the left sneaker. See, it's Reebok, it's blue. And I can see, yeah, it look like part of Iverson's face right there. Does come stuffed with tissue. And I'm curious to see what's on the inside of the right sneaker. Oh, it's the same. 
basically like I can see part of Iverson's face again so and you have the custom logo on it so these are the Reebok Iverson mid, the question, the blue toe pair. He mostly paired this with the red 76ers jersey, but uh, it does match the white as well. So let me know what y'all think. All right, I know it's not popular, but it's a nostalgia buy. Back in 97, Iverson was my guy, not Jordan. Iverson was my guy. I had the blue toe, I had the red toe. I had the little replica Iverson jersey back then, you know. I couldn't afford that off of uh, an army salary. Back then, you know, those doggone LESs was looking rough. So I had to get that little replica jersey for $39.99. Nonetheless, I still was rocking the uh, blue toe and the red toe. So let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker, guys. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.